So, um, I brewed the brown ale not that long ago, and uh, now it's time to keg it. I've gone ahead and sanitized my keg so it's ready to go, and I checked the beer. Uh, the yeast took a while to kick off, but it did kick off finally, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, the beer smells great. It smells very uh, kind of like uh, sweet and aroma to a degree. Uh, along with that alcohol you would tend to smell in a beer. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this sucker kegged. All right, I've already popped my airlock out so I can get some fresh air in while it goes down into the keg here. And you can see I got star sand down in there, like suds from where the star sand was. So we're ready to rock and roll, man. Let's do this. Go ahead and turn our valve on. Man, look at that color, guys. Fantastic. Stasis did a great job of keeping the beer cool. Uh, while it fermented, it was a uh, steady 67 degrees the whole time. And I had the AC slash heater running in here to keep the room stable and temp. But there it goes. Got a lot of yeast in it. It'll clear up as it uh, sits in conditions in the keg. And I'm not really in a hurry to drink it anyways because um, I'm dieting right now. So I'm not drinking a lot of beers anyways. I'm trying to get my weight down. Once I get my weight down, then uh, I can start to enjoy my beers again. But it's kind of just trials and tribulations of getting older, you know, fighting that weight gain. But, uh, and uh, yeah, so that's that. But yeah, we're just filling her up. It's actually clearing up some, you look at this tube here. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the teething. Let's do this. Here it goes. Nice color, guys. Yeah, we're just filling it up. Of course, we'll have a bunch of suds coming up out the top. That's just the way star sand is. You get uh, real sudsy stuff. But it uh, keeps bacteria and other nasties out of the beer. So that the beer is wonderful and delicious and tastes as it's intended to taste. So, but uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, the stasis fermentation cooling or glycol system has been great. It does what it's supposed to do. I use food grade glycol in it, um, although you really shouldn't eat glycol at all. Uh, food grade just means it's uh, less risk of uh, making you sick if you accidentally ingest it. Uh, less chance of making you sick if you accidentally ingest it. But uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic unit. It takes up very little space. I didn't actually brew the other batch of beer yet, so I haven't ever ran this thing with two fermenters, but uh, so far, just on one, it's been the best thing ever, man. Uh, I like it way more than the brew jacket, but I do hang on to the brew jacket in case the brew jacket, uh, just in case the uh, stasis ever doesn't work for me or breaks, I have the brew jacket as backup, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it, and um, I like both. I like the brew jacket and the stasis, but the stasis is more awesome because I can actually uh, ferment lagers, do lagering with it, and uh, the brew jacket here in Texas, at least, it struggles to get past, like, below 50 degrees. So, so I haven't done any lagers with the brew jacket. I have, or I will, I will be doing some lagering with the stasis here soon because I do have a beer that requires lagering and I can't wait to try that out. So, anyways, we'll check on this here in a minute. All right, man. So, wouldn't be home brewing without making a mess, right? Because it just seems to be my luck these days. Um, so I got everything cleaned up. I had spilt some beer here 
and some on the floor here. It's still wet when I was cleaning. But uh, yeah, the the thing I don't like about these brew buckets, and I may consider doing something else for fermentation in the future, maybe go back to buckets uh, just for simplicity's sake. I don't know. If there's any uh, fermentation systems you guys recommend out there, I, I may even go back to the catalyst, to be quite honest, now that I have space. Um, not sure what I'll do yet. Ferment the source, whatever. But what happened is, is these uh, fermenters, they have this arm inside, and the way these valves hook up in here, there's a little nut on there, and what SS Brutex says to do is, you know, tighten the nut down. But when you are fermenting, you have the arm turned where it's up, or I mean to the side. And then when you're ready to like rack the beer, you turn it to the right, turn it down, and it starts sucking everything up, and you get as much of the work out of the fermenter, leaving yeast and true debris behind. Well. I did that, I turned it, and this has happened to me a couple times actually, which I'm annoyed about, but I turned the arm and of course it loosened the inside, so I had beer coming out around the valve and the valve, so that was not fun. But I am seriously thinking about switching to a different type of fermenter uh, for this uh, going forward. So yeah, there's that. But the beer's keg. I need to go take it and put gas on it, and uh, that's it for the brown ale kegging. And I got my little bottle of star sand and spraying all over the place <laughs> to to uh, keep things clean and sanitary. So, anyways, that's my woes of the day. It's always something. So, like I said, I may switch to some kind of other fermenter that uh, I can just mod a little bit to run the stasis with. So we'll see. So, anyways, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in for this very, very short video, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.